Hello everyone, hope you are loading well. In this video, we'll discuss the third problem of lead code by weekly contest 84. It's a medium level problem. The problem name is star scheduler 2. So the problem statement says that we are given a zero indexed integer array task representing tasks that need to be performed in the order in which it is given, right? And task of i represent the ith task. You are also given a positive integer array, uh, sorry, you are also given a positive integer space which represent the minimum number of days that must pass after the completion of a task before another task of the same type can be performed. I know long problem statement probably we will we'll see this in the diagram when we go to the detailed explanation. Now each day until all tasks have been completed you must either complete the next task from the task array that you are given or you take a break. So return the minimum number of days needed to complete all the tasks right. Let's directly jump to the explanation and, and see what the problem statement says. So we are given a just a second yeah we are given an array let's call it tasks and i'll take the first example itself it's one two one two three one right this is the task array and then we have a variable space that is equals to three so the problem says that suppose i start with day number one so what is the first task i need to perform it is it is one i can perform the task number one here i go to day two what is the second task task two i can perform task number two let's go to the day three now on day uh, no what is the next task i need to perform i need to perform one but the value of space is three this means there should be at least a rest of three days or at least a gap of three days before i can again perform task number one because i already performed task number one right so on day three i am bound to take rest when can I perform task number one again? I can perform it on. So the uh, the last time it was performed was on day number one. The value of space is three. So this much, this many days needs to needs to be skipped. So on plus one, that is on fifth day, I can perform it, right? On fifth day. On day four as well, I need to take rest. I need to take rest. And then let's come to day number five. Day number five. On, on this day, yes, I can perform this task. Because you see, you see, there is a gap of three space equals to three between one and one task number one and one, right? So that is why we are bound to do this. Let's come to day number six. What is the next task? It's two. Now for two also, this will hold. I need a break of at least three days. So one, two, three. This has been completed. So I can perform task number two on this day, right? We are good to go. This is also done. Let's come to three right let's come to three we come to day seven so this is the first time we are performing three so on day seven three can be performed right no need of space variable here right this is the first time let's come to day number eight right now this is the task that we need to perform can we perform this task right now no because we need a space of at least three days so it was perform performed on five fifth day space is three so when can it be performed next time it's 5 plus 3 plus 1 equals to ninth day right so we need to take a rest here we come to ninth day and then we perform one see there is a gap of three here because space equals to three right so keep a track of when was the last time you did a job you did a task i right and if if this value satisfied that suppose the last day was suppose the previous day when a particular task was done what previous plus space so you can do the you you can do again this task on previous plus place space plus one on this day you can do right simple problem nothing nothing to worry which data structure will we use we'll use a map we'll start from day one we'll start from the task one since one is not done okay on this day, on the current day you can do it we go to next day two is seeing for the first time we can do it we go to the third day on the third day we are expected to do one the dark task number one but can it be done on the on third day no because this condition is not satisfied previous was day one space is three it can be performed on day number day number five only right so that is why 1 plus 3 plus 1 so th this comes out to be 5 simple keep on updating the map when was the last day a particular task was performed and just start reversing it right let's jump to the solution yeah so i've taken a map 
uh, on line number three integer comma long why i've taken long is uh, because the return type of the uh, function is long that means the number of days that are required can go beyond integer range and this is the thing that we are storing as a value in the map right so i've taken long now the current day starts from zero i start traversing the array from line number five i go to the current task obviously on every step i increment the day the current day is plus plus right now when was the previous day uh, the current task was performed so it's map dot get or default task comma minus one into space now this is complex why i have done this a simple approach would be what you do you can do it like this why i have done this i'll also tell you so previous can be equals to previous can be equals to just a second yeah so uh, previous can be right now what i have done map sorry map dot get all default right uh, task comma minus one into space earlier or an easier approach would be what you do you do if this task is not present if this is coming for the first time if this is coming for the first first time directly put that into the map right directly put that into the map otherwise if you return zero na the default value zero for a task that has not happened then this condition because of this condition number of days will increase that's the main reason so a simple approach would be uh, that uh, if if this this task is coming for the first time directly put that into the map do map dot put current task and the current day we are good to go just continue the loop skip the next part but i wanted to make some common code that is why i have done minus one plus space if i would have written zero the, the equation would have become zero plus if previous day i have returned would have zero space plus one this would have given wrong answer so that is why what i have done i have written minus space here so minus space plus space these two cancel out that's the main reason i have done minus space just a trick i have used you can skip it to make the co code more readable I just wanted to reduce the number of lines, right? Now, if current day is less than space plus previous, like when was the previous time this task was performed plus one, then we need to do current day equals to what is the minimum day uh, on which this task can be performed? It, it will be space plus previous plus one, and then we update our map. Then now this task has been performed on the current day, and we are good to go. Uh, the solution is pretty simple it's just that you need to go with the intuition right uh, don't go with the brute force otherwise it will give tle mm, so yeah this was the solution uh, nothing nothing fancy i hope you understand understood the diagram and what was the problem saying so hope you learned something new from this video please do support it by giving a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel and also in case you have any queries do mention that into the comments i'll try to resolve each one each one of them thank you take care bye bye